Hello hopefuls, today I am taking you with me to Amazon's very first style store and it is so futuristic. A bougie high tech experience but for super affordable prices. It feels like everything you love about actually physically going shopping mixed with everything you love about shopping on your phone. By the way, this is not sponsored at all. I actually reached out to the Amazon fashion people months ago when I found out this was happening and I was like, when is this opening? I want to come make a video. And they were like, nah. So I found out the store opened two days ago and I booked a plane ticket to California. This just opened at the Americana Shopping Center. We're at the store. I'm pretty sure that this building used to be a Forever 21. So we're starting out on the first floor, which is all shopping spaces with a few dressing rooms, a checkout area, and stairs leading up to... You'll see. When you walk in the front door, you scan this giant QR code and it pulls up my name. What? How did they know? Oh, I pulled up my Amazon account probably. <laughs> Before you start shopping, it has you fill out this little quiz. What am I? Curvy? Or this? To get to know your style and your sizing and stuff. Ooh, athleisure, casual. <gasps> Wait, I can only pick one? No, no, no. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, we're ready to shop. The first thing that you'll notice about this store is there's only one of every single thing on the floor. That's because there are QR codes either next to the item or on the hanger. You scan it, select your size, and it will send it straight to a dressing room for you, which we will visit later. It was probably my favorite part of this whole store. The having only one item out at a time gives it more of like a high-end feel, like if you're walking into like a Louis Vuitton store. The main level of this store is broken up into style sections. This is the Y2K section. I don't remember wearing that in the 2000s. <laughs> Everything from casual to dressy, and of course, <gasps> the activewear section. These are genuinely some of the best affordable leggings out there. $26. There's a variety of prices, tons of affordable finds. It's kind of fun. But they also have some high-end designers. It's expensive, but it's fun. $300. Okay, while I'm here, one of my main goals is to find a pair of jeans that fit me. I have not had the best luck with jeans. This is just so clean looking. Like, look at this. This was the point of the experience that I started noticing some flaws in the system, though. I don't know what I did. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh my gosh. Is this only happening to me? Oh my gosh, what's happening? I didn't do that. I think I want these ones. Currently unavailable. Well, we're not off to a good start. <laughs> These ones are less money anyway. Why does it say the try-on's not available though? A lot of the jeans weren't even in the store, or if they were, they weren't available for try-on for some reason, which is like, the whole point. Let's try these. Oh, okay, we've got some that I can try on. P.S. I am giving $100 Amazon gift cards to four of you that are subscribed, like the video, and leave a comment below within the first 30 minutes that the video is live. If you're late this time, make sure to turn on notifications so that you are ready next time I do something like this. It was so nice to not have to carry anything around as I shopped. I was like, oh, I like this dress. It's like identical to what I'm wearing. After several more minutes of shopping and adding more stuff to my dressing room. Oh, it says I have a three to seven minute wait for a room. Does that mean I only have three to seven minutes to shop though? Problem was I wasn't ready to be done shopping. When the room is ready, you can select wait for the next room or prepare my room. I'm gonna wait for the next room. The back half of the first level is men's and then this weird glass room. I guess it's an elevator system. Like it's really just a very dramatic way of transporting clothes from the storage rooms in the upper floors to downstairs. I don't know how that works with accessories because they're not gonna send that to the dressing room. Let's see what it'll say. They definitely will send anything that has a code up to the dressing room for you. <laughs> they have a room ready for me again. I'm still not ready though. Oh, I like that one. Okay, which one looks better with my hair? Pink or purple? Purple, you think? The other thing that it says is we're getting your items plus more we think you'll like ready. I wonder what they'll pick out for me. They have some good dresses for under $30. That one's cute. Closet is full. Turns out you can only select 10 items at a time to try on. Oh no. <laughs> Probably too late to take stuff out, huh? So I had to select the next prepare my dressing room that popped up. Okay, now where do I go though? Like I mentioned, there are a few dressing rooms on the bottom floor, but most of them are upstairs on the second level. I think the remainder of the second level is just where they store the clothes. Tyler tried to get them to let us go back there. It was a hard no. We're going to room 21. These were the nicest dressing rooms ever. You use your phone to unlock your assigned dressing room. Unlocked! And we are in. Haha. <gasps> Wow. 
Oh, we made it in. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They're like the equivalent to a luxurious first class seat on an airplane versus the basic economy seat. That's any other store dressing room. All of my items are hanging up there. And one of the coolest features in this room is this touchscreen. It's very Cher's closet from Clueless vibes. Or does anybody remember that Feel of the Future episode where they go shopping at the mall? <laughs> Cute. Thank you. On the top here is everything in my room I picked, plus some things that they thought I would like, like this blue dress. Maybe the two dresses that I picked out myself tipped them off. And then on the bottom are even more suggestions that I can have delivered to the room. My favorite thing about the dressing rooms though is this magic closet. If you need any other size or select something new off the screen, <gasps> oh my gosh, <laughs> it appears in this closet. <laughs> For example, if I want to get these jeans in a smaller size, find them on the screen here, medium. I timed it, and from the time I clicked try on, it took exactly one minute and three seconds for them to deliver my item. That's what this little red light means. My door is locked while that light is on for privacy, and then when the item is in, the door closes on their side, the whole thing lights up, my door unlocks, and there it is. So this two-way locking system makes it a really, really private experience. I don't know about you, but I deal with feeling anxious in dressing rooms a lot. They're always like, hey, how's everything going in there? And I'm like, amazing, as I'm melting down on the floor because I hate everything on me. <laughs> oh my gosh, these pants are incredible. Look at them. Everything that I try on, I'm going to link down below. You can shop it on Amazon if you want to twin with me. <laughs> Honestly, I have never felt more comfortable in a dressing room than this. It was such a private and personalized experience. Probably the first time I've had fun trying on clothes in public, maybe ever. Then I took everything I liked from the dressing room back downstairs to buy it all. I did get a little discount and free tote bag for being an Amazon Prime member. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even interested in going in these regular stores now. <laughs> and now time to show you everything I bought. Like I said, it's all down below if you wanna get anything. Travel time. I got some good stuff. I found not one, but two jeans that I love. I know, I know, crazy. I'm gonna try them on with this cute sweater I bought. Okay, these first ones were actually really affordable. They are the Sweaty Brocks brand. Oh, they're cute. Okay, the next pair. These ones were a little more expensive, but honestly, I think a high price is worth having one solid pair of jeans that you absolutely love. The Joe's Jeans brand, they are high rise, curvy, with a little bit of a flare at the bottom. Two good finds. Oh yeah. I did end up buying the plushy Ugg bag. Oh, I gotta show you these leggings I got. These are my new favorite leggings. A really nice compressing material with pockets on both sides. They snatch in your waist. And the best part, booty scrunch. Okay, dresses. I'm going on my very first beach vacation in years. So I thought this outfit would be cute. This dress was only $20. And then I paired it with these super cute platform sandals. I'm ready for the beach. Okay, I have more dresses though. Bright pink bodycon dress. I love that it looks great with my hair. <laughs> Next one. Next one I accidentally bought in the wrong size. I just, I didn't try this one on. I sent it straight to check out. That was a mistake. Last one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one immediately caught my attention as soon as I walked in the store. They have a little display of some outfits that influencers put together. Let's scan Lucy's outfit. There it all is. Katie's item. <gasps> Cute. And this was one of them. Which, by the way, Amazon, if you're watching this and you want to uh, make an outfit with me for the store, <laughs> I'll forgive you for not answering my email questions. <laughs> okay, okay, are you ready? Ooh. It's so cute. I love it. It looks like a sunset. Is Amazon style the fate of all the Forever 21 stores across the country? Uh, honestly, I wouldn't even be mad. I kind of loved this place. <laughs> Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It would really mean a lot to me. And you can check out my shorts channel if you want some extra hope. I picked out some other videos that I thought you might enjoy. Definitely check out the video where I shop Amazon's secret outlet if you haven't seen that one already. And we will see you over in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.